My name is uh, Joseph Fry, and I'm calling from Detroit, Michigan, in the United States. Greetings, family. So, uh, you know what? I, I kind of grew up very African centered, and mm -hmm. um, I'm, I'm in I'm in the midst of opening up a high school and in uh, Michigan, and um, I want I want the high school to be African centered as well. Right. You know, um, I. Um, I, it, the funny part is I've been following you for a while and I'm talking to one of my friends and we don't always talk about uh, religion or faith, but, you know, we understand that we both uh, we, we both believe in a higher power and ourselves. Mm. And my, I got two or three friends and they all say I'm following Wusabat. So right. it's, it, I'm so I'm so glad and I'm so like like time needed you now. Right. And, and and it's it's not. I have a couple questions, but I wanted to give you some some praise too for what you're doing because this is millions of dollars of information that you're giving us for free, and we and I'm pretty sure people that's watching they love you for this. I appreciate and, you, um, but I always have to say that the praise goes to the master teacher, Panda Babianun. Honestly, I'm just a student like all of us, but I do appreciate the fact. That, see, I, even I, the tones. I pre love the fact that yeah we are starting to come together and recognize each other and give, you know, gratitude where gratitude is due. But yes, please so, go ahead. The phone is going so mad. I, People so are ringing all the time I, I, as you're I, I speaking. A, so I, go I ahead. I have a question. So, yeah. so one of the things is, you, I love that you talk about the extraterrestrials, et cetera, et cetera. So for me, now that people talk about these things, I have a situation when I was around like nine years old yeah. where I was abducted by extraterrestrials. And they were like the tall, gray aliens. And, and no, I didn't go to any class to learn any of this. But because it happened to me, I've always studied them. So I studied under a guy named Dr. Dilbert Blair. Yes. And, those, and so I would always look at, like, you know, what's going on or why that happened to me. Like, I didn't get sick for years, my whole life, et cetera. Mm. You know, do you, do you believe that, um, you know, that... Um, is it is your time over when when you die, or is it a thing where, or we always felt like are they coming back to come and um, to see us or check on us? You know, I I, I got these questions, but it's so many questions I want to ask you. You know, yeah, you know, unfortunately, people, because of yeah, yeah. Let me just answer the question, and because there's a lot of people trying to get through, and we got the um, yeah, and we got the um, the live as well. But yeah, I mean, it's great because extraterrestrials have been here from the beginning and um, it's always been around. It's just that it was suppressed by the powers that be because they know that the minute they were able to let people know about extraterrestrials, they wouldn't have so much control over the people. So a lot of the times they had even like the whole, um, you know, the Roswell situation and every time people were citing aliens, extraterrestrials, or what they call UPAs now, um, unidentified, or UAP, sorry, unidentified aerial phenomenal, instead of what they used to call them UFOs, unidentified flying objects. And the master teacher, Parnabab Yanun, put out a series of books when he, when he first started publishing, you know, books like, Is God an Extraterrestrial? Extraterrestrials and Creation, Mission Earth and the Extraterrestrial Involvement, The Man from Planet Risk. There are so many books that he published, and I'm talking, this is going back in the, in the 90s um, and early, um, late 80s, early 90s. And he was putting out so much information in these books, like Project Blue Book, he was talking about the brain team, he was talking about so many projects that were classified at the time. And people were like, how does he know all of this? And they used to try and um, ridicule, ridicule him for that information, saying like, oh, you're from a planet with three suns, etc." So what we're basically saying, fast forward to today. Every, oh, I'm coming back through. Yeah, if you turn your mic, um, your, your, your speaker down, because I'm echoing back. So, so what we're saying is a lot of people growing up had these experiences with various extraterrestrials but they were made to feel stupid or like they're crazy if they spoke about it. So a lot of people just kept it quiet for many years. But as time went on and it became more and more a worldwide phenomenon, everyone started to talk about it. So now 
people are happy and openly speaking about it. I meet and speak to people all the time. They've had many, many experiences. And Dr. York talked about himself being abducted. There's a scroll called Akasha Records. Um, and I'm, I'm going to, throughout the videos, throughout the lives, we will be giving out scrolls. You can go on our website and you can get hold of these scrolls. And um, we call them scrolls, not books. Um, but that's what we're referring to because the way the information used to be written and handed from time um, in the past was through, um, you know, papyruses and things like that. But anyways, yeah, so you're, you're normal. There's nothing wrong with that. And now... We've also about you can meet people of like mind and speak about these things. And we're moving to a time where humanity is evolving and you have to evolve mentally to be able to deal with things like intergalactical, you know, um, travel or dealing with the intergalactical community. So extraterrestrials is something that we speak about all the time. But I'm going to have to cut that and um, we go into the next call. Is this?